We've had a couple of dull months. Last year, this year, nothing much was going on. But then this year, the world, well, it's in Kenya, it's in Kwanzaa. It came to a standstill because after such a long break, we had one of the biggest beauty pageants happening here. And I don't know why it sounds bigger than all the others or probably because we were yearning and dying for such a space to happen. But today I am happy to introduce to you Miss World Kenya 2021. Sharon Obara, you look beautiful. Please, this is your, this is your catwalk. This is Nitangonini. <laughs> My runway. You look runway, yes. You look so gorgeous. Oh, awesome. Karibu. You know, I'm just looking at your crown. Is it heavy? Um, is it, um, is it, is it like, not really. Not really. Yeah. But it sits nicely. Yeah. You look royal. Thank you. But you are. Thank you. Welcome to Full Circle. Kindly introduce yourself and all other things that you are, and this is your camera. Thank you, Mikali. Nice to meet you again. Yes. <laughs> My name is Sharon Obara, Miss World Kenya 2021. I am a psychology major, as well as a marketer, a baker, among many other things. I am currently preparing to represent Kenya in the Miss World Finals in yeah. Puerto Rico. I'm actually scheduled to leave on saturday this, this saturday, saturday. We time caught is you up. in good time <laughs> time is almost oh up. my god yes okay. so for the past three months yes. i've been in the serious preparations in terms of public speaking catwalk my beauty with the purpose and also growing as a person okay. it's been a really really long and beautiful journey you are so gorgeous, I can't stop staring. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank so you. the journey for you to get into pageantry, has it always been a dream to wear that crown to represent our country? It actually has. I had been following up the Miss World. Miss World, it used yes. to air some years back on local television. Yes. So I'd... Um, I'd sneak past my bedtime. You know, those, those days when the TV was limited it was limited yes so i'd wait for my parents to go and <coughs> sleep eh, i just go back to the sitting room i turn on the television and turn down the volume then i just watch these queens walking the runway then i will just visualize myself doing the same it's an actual dream come true oh i have goosebumps it's a dream come true so wait, wait, how did you start? How did it start for you? Did you go straight uh, to Miss World or did you start with other, like in high school, campus? You, you, you see, yes. watching something and doing it are two different things. That is true. I watched it, I loved it, but I didn't know how to go into it. Okay. That's where my really good friends and family came in. Uh -huh. They will constantly push me, <coughs> girl, you are tall, you're pretty, go for this one, yes. go for this one. I remember my best friend took me to shop for my first pair of heels in 2018. She was first like, pair of heels my very first pair of heels. I was a sneaker girl, I was always what? in sneakers. <laughs> Okay. So um, we, we came across a casting audition for Miss Kajiado. Mm -hmm. And she was like, you know what? You will go for this one. You will go. I was a bit afraid that bef because I hadn't walked in hills before. But then the constant support from my family, my friends, it kept me going. So I started modeling in 2018. I did Miss Kajiado. I didn't win, but I learned. It's been a journey of oh, growth, really? you know, learning. Yes. I also, I was in Kenyatta University pursuing mm -hmm. a bachelor's degree in psychology. Mm -hmm. I also <coughs> attempted Mr. and Miss Kenyatta University. How did that go? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you were still learning as I well. I was still learning. Okay. Well, one thing, I didn't take it as a failure. For me, okay. I saw it because from each pageant, I gained something. Okay. I either learned a skill, I expanded my network, you know, it's always been a journey of growth and that's what encouraged me to keep going because yes. I knew even if I don't, it, it will always be a win for me because mm. I know I will have grown from that. Okay. From Miss Kajiado, I did Mr. and Miss Birmingham. Uh -huh. I've done quite a number of Clearly. runways. I've never even heard of that one. Yes. <laughs> 
then in 2019, I started seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Yes. I was casted on the, um, Samantha Bridal's runway show, and that was such a big thing for me. It was such a big thing for me. Remember my, my parents and my grandparents getting emotional because it was a literal dream come true, and now yes. it's even bigger. Now, what are they doing? I can imagine if that was huge for them. So getting into Miss World, what was your mental state like? Were you going in it to win it? Because you've been learning. Did you feel ready for it? Because it was quite competitive. Here's the catch. Okay, cool. <laughs> I did Miss and Miss World in 2019. Okay. I did it. And um, I didn't win, but I won because I learned a lot. I got to meet amazing people i got amazing trainers so it was it was a plus on my end yes then i got an insight on my weaknesses my mm. strengths you know how to how to calculate your walks what i need to work on so the 2019 the 2019 and 2020 because we didn't have the pageant in 2020 yes. i took that opportunity to grow myself from 2019 I worked on my confidence. I went into marketing. I've done a lot of events, activations, you know, these things. Yeah. I put myself in the spot where I had to talk and engage with people, negotiate, sell. It, it has really built me up. So coming into the pageant in 2021, yes. I knew what I had gone there to do. What? Yes. Your attitude is everything, Sharon. Thank you. That you did not look at all these other things as you know failures like oh I, w I did not make opportunity it opportunity to grow you learned and yes. you kept learning i did and then boom the moment they mentioned your name <clears throat> <laughs> from the it videos was, yeah it was televised yes it was and i cried i cried i couldn't believe it because um as they were calling the 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 runners up yes we had been called top six yeah so the the runners up the top three yes. were among the six so they called up the runners up and at the back to quote me back here four yeah. so that moment you're not even you are there but you're not there you just you're just in another world for me i was reflecting on my journey how i started how i have come the far i have come how much of a journey it was the people that have been there with me yes at that moment i knew i had put in the work mm. So I was ready for whichever outcome. You had done it right by yourself. Exactly. So I was content. If the world is not seeing, I was then content. you knew yes. that you'd put in the work. I had made peace with that yes. moment. I yes. knew I had fun. I enjoyed myself on that runway. I had worked. Whichever the outcome, I will be grateful. Mm -hmm. Yes, but it's a really tense moment. It's it's a, like, I can imagine. The first, the runners-up have been called. Yes. So, you know, the winner is among the four. Uh -huh. ah. <laughs> <laughs> but congratulations. Thank you. Um, congratulations. Thank you. But then let's get into mental health, which is something that you're really, really passionate about. I am. Tell us a bit more. What does it mean to you? And do you think, like, the young people, like, your age, do they understand the intensity of the wellness of the mind? Thank you for that. In Miss World, Miss World is actually a big pageant. It's the oldest pageant in the world. And it's well known because it champions for purpose. Of course, it's not just about beauty. No. It's also about beauty of the heart. What can you do for the people who are not in the same position as you? For the project I'll be championing for this year is uh, destigmatizing access to mental health in Kenya. A little backstory to it. Um, yes. I did psychology in campus. But my chemistry with psychology started a long time ago. I've been working with children living with neurological and cognitive disorders. These are things such as Down syndrome, epilepsy, mm. and autism. I was working with them because I have a long backstory with it, maybe a story for another day. But they, they are among the people who are hard hit by the pandemic because a lot of the institutions were closed. Yes. They rely mostly on good wishes. And since the times were tough, a lot of them were unable to sustain themselves, so a lot of them were closed. It was hectic on the parents, because now you have to be your child's friend, you have to be your child's teacher, you have to be your child's, you know, companion. And other than the effects on the parents, it was also a big deal on the children. Mm. Because, you know, your childhood sets the foundation for your adulthood. Once uh, you don't get enough... Um, 
coaching or love or mentorship in your childhood, it will trickle down into your adulthood. So most of them were alienated from the yes. rest. People don't want to play with you. You mm. know, you're made fun of because you're not like all the others. So I've been championing for mental health only for uh, this specific, uh, not only, but I was majoring. majoring yes, I was majoring um, on the children and the families of the children with neurological and cognitive disorders. However, this year God has been faithful. I have been accorded a very big platform, a bigger voice. And I thought, why not include everyone? Why not champion for the well-being of everyone? Because this is a really big platform. Yes, I have a bigger voice, I have a bigger reach. So with the Miss World organization, we took it upon ourselves to destigmatize mental health in, as in close association, association mm -hmm. with um, private practicing um, institutions. And uh, the biggest, one of the biggest psychiatric hospitals in, in Kenya and East Africa, Chiromo Hospital Group, and also the government, the um, Ministry of uh, Public Service, Youth, Youth and uh, Gender, mm -hmm. the Office of Her Ex Excellency Rachel Shebesh. Yes. She actually came out as um, yes, she and did. shared her story of battling with bipolar. bipolar. Yes. Exactly, and it's really nice that she's been vocal about it. If you if you get time, you can go onto the um, official Miss World Miss World mm -hmm. uh, YouTube page. They have uploaded our beauty with a purpose. Also on my page, I've uploaded the video where I have talked at length about this project. Mm -hmm. We have highlighted stories um, where in Kenya people have been uh, treated inhumanely yes. because people didn't have an understanding of mm. mental health. Yeah. So once we normalize these conversations, people will know how to be there for the people who are not in their best element at that moment. Yes. You will know where to look for help. You will know the signs to look out for. That is what we are doing. So this is also to show you don't need a lot of money. You don't need, no, you, don't. you know, you don't need a lot of things to make a change. No. It's the knowledge, <coughs> the attitude, the love, the support. These are the things that um, are instrumental into making a difference. And you know what I pray is that you even get a bigger and a louder voice. A so bigger. that it's not just Kenya that you're talking care of. You're taking care of. It is so much money. I don't know why I'm tearing. It's probably the light. <laughs> <laughs> For real? It is the light. <laughs> mm -hmm. So when so you're going next weekend, you are stepping this out. This weekend. This weekend, Saturday. I know. Saturday, you're stepping out. I am. And I don't know what kind of preparation you need because it, it is huge. The whole world will be looking at you. Yes. The whole of Kenya will be looking at you. And I don't know, what, what are the plans? What are some of the things that you've had to do differently? Uh, hmm. It's been a journey. But first of all, I've had to work on me, the yes. physical me that you're seeing. Mm -hmm. I've had to work on my physique. I've mm -hmm. been hitting the gym. I've been eating right. Okay. Then I've also been working on myself mentally because it was a really big transition from campus life into carrying like the weight of Kenya on your shoulders. So I also had to take care of myself mentally, spiritually. It's been an all-rounded journey. I've also had public speaking classes. I've had etiquette. I've had uh, the modeling classes. It's an all-rounded experience. So right now it's the uh, Kipindi Chalala Salama. <laughs> and we're here for it. And we are here for it. Are you ready? I'm ready. I believe I am. Okay. Good. Yes. We are here rooting for you. Thank you. Naskia kuna mahali tunafakuwa vote. Yes. Please tell us about that so that we just get into it, all of us. Okay. So at Miss World, there are um, like five sub-competition categories. Okay. There is the sports challenge, there is the public speaking called head to head, mm -hmm. there is the supermodel, there is the sports, and then there is the multimedia challenge. Okay. This one we're given a head start. Mm -hmm. It's already started before we even get there. Okay. So this one it's uh it's run on an app called Mobster. M O B S T A R Mobster. Okay. It's mm -hmm. available on both the Google Play Store and the App Store. You download it. Once you've downloaded it, you sign up. Mm -hmm. Just like any other app. Yes. And um, you search for my name, Sharon Obara or Miss World Kenya 2021. Mm -hmm. You support me by liking my pictures. Okay. 
just that they they are they are looking to see how much support you have from your people how mm. much um how much people are in support of you what you're doing how you are sharing your journey how yes. you're interacting with uh with your followers mm -hmm. so that's um Mobster. And that's M -O -B. Yes. So this is me downloading mobster on live TV. and it's free <laughs> so i post on there every single day okay. pictures what i'm doing updates it's also a really nice place to follow up on uh, all the activities okay that's like a journal if i may say yeah, yeah i've been journaling j the whole journey and i will continue doing that even once i'm out there okay yeah. m-o-b-s-t-a-r just yes. download it and just let's just like I take it we to 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 <laughs> yes, that's something I'm really looking forward to do. However, because at the moment I'm pressed of time, yes, it's a, uh, it's a little bit, a little bit. But I'm trying where I can. I'm yes. trying to reply to DMs, some mm. messages I'm getting. Mm -hmm. But um, at the moment I'm pressed of time. But once I'm back or once uh, once my schedule clears up a bit, yes. I will delve into that. Great. I would love to mentor a lot of young people out there. It's possible, and you can have it all. As long as you set your mind on it, because I have my degree yes. and I have Miss Well to the side. Yes, it's a it's a you matter of it balance. Yes, you can, you have, can it have it all. You can. Yes. Um, good morning. Today's show has begun on such a high note. Sharon, we are behind you, praying well for you. I hope you win, Miss Well. This is Anna from Raka, and this is our prayer. I think this is my prayer. Thank you. And most of Kenyans that you go there represent, bring back the crown. The Home. blue it, crown, the coveted is, is, blue is crown. It, is it bigger <laughs> than this? Is it like, I don't know. It's um, the stones. Oh. It's really precious. You can look it up. What? It's, really pr it's a really precious thing. Do you get the kind of, Okay, sorry. We're asking <laughs> these things on TV, but we have like bodyguards. Is sorry? It's going to be stored in like a place where we can't, you know. It's One really, even uh, my crown as we speak, it's, ah. an, it's an official kind of thing i don't just wear it every day okay so cool if this is the kenyan one yes imagine the miss world <laughs> one that's that's a privilege to it even is. come close to yes mm. okay cool sharon we wish you all the very best i appreciate we love it. you love you love you love you and what you're doing and like i said a bigger platform a bigger voice for you to continue the work that you're doing thank you beauty with a purpose your social media handles I am Sharon Obara ac across yes. all social media handles on Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok. It's Sharon Obara. Follow me and join in on the journey as we take the world by storm. <laughs> that is what we are about to do. Thank you so much, yes. Sharon. Thank you for having me. You are welcome. We are going to take a very short commercial break. We'll be right back. This is Full Circle with Mwikali. <laughs>